Limbo, I love Limbo. I mean, granted, I can't bend my back that that, that hard, but at the same time, wait, this isn't that kind of Limbo, is it? Yeah. You lied to us. That was more than two seconds long. <laughs> no, you're fine. It's yeah. the kind of limbo. It was it was, has, it was a rough estimation hype. Anyway, yeah, you know what the, you know what this game is. Welcome to Limbo, folks. Yep, this was uh, one of the. This was, I think, one of the biggest like indie hits when like back when like people didn't quite understand what it meant to ha to be an indie game in the first place. Yeah, you know? I, I remember. Mean, I remember when it came out, and uh, I was I intrigued by it too. I know this was released around the time when yeah, like indie indie games were really hitting it big. Like there was this, there was Super Meat Boy, there was um. Technically, Amnesia: The Dark Descent was was classified as one. You had Bastion. Yeah, oh god, uh, yeah, Bastion. I almost forgot about that. And um, yeah. Brain. Yeah, and Brain. Brain. Yeah. Oh jeez, yeah, those man, super long ago. So in Limbo, uh, both this and the next game we'll be looking at, because yes, I'm going to be looking at this and eventually the sequel, mm. at, uh, or I guess spiritual successor, uh, from the from the studio Play Dead Games. Uh, well, yeah, it's the same are, studio. They're very much minimalistic platformers. You don't really get a whole lot. There's not a lot of outwardly spoken dialogue or like huge tutorial messages it is just you get you are you you are you are boy please play Ow. yeah how the hell survive that pretty pretty much i this, don't I, I guess i just go ahead we pretty, yeah, pretty much the story is conveyed entirely through the visuals and just your progression through the world and just seeing right. the state that it's awesome. in and just and it, it and, goes from bad to worse and for how I survived that, James, I think I just jumped with just barely enough damage before fall damage took took place. Which, I, I, which is funny, because, uh, yeah, go ahead. I, I was just about to say, yeah, James kind of hit it right there. This game has fall damage. The, yes. it, it kind of, it's like, it's very much binary, though. There's no, like, health meter. It is, you are alive or you are dead. Mm -hmm. You yeah, are they... either survive, if, from, from a 30-foot drop, you will be fine. At a 31-foot drop, you will shatter all of, all every bone in your body. It, it's yeah. kind of not dissimilar to a boy in this blob, actually. <laughs> oh, Honestly, okay. yeah, like, looking at this, that's, like, probably the first thing I can think of, though, I mean, unlike a boy in this blob, this you game no is completely, blob. well, there's that, and this game is completely devoid of color. Boop! Oh yeah, no. Th th this this game definitely has that monochromatic. Meanwhile, style. you just see a bunch of people in the comments going, "Black is a color." I'll have you know. It's a Actually, it's a monochromatic it style. It is. It's, it's pretty much all the colors combined, combined, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Because because they paints. all shape with one another, but but yeah. So in this, so yeah, real quick, if you've never played this game before, it is we are a boy. The the intended lore behind the game, I guess, if you read the about section or the FAQ, is that we are a oh, boy. Hold the phone. Oh, bear bear trap. Bear trap. Press, little kid. Oh boy. We're going to oh, yeah. move these so that I can jump over them. Be oh. very observant, because the game is not above... The game's not above hiding things like that. Mm -hmm. Granted, this game is also very, very uh, uh, lenient with its checkpoints as well. Which is good. Yeah, because like the, there the are... game is mostly fo focused on getting you immersed into the world more so than just straight up making you, well, challenge yourself in, su in such a, you know, tedious method. Yeah. Right, so here we have a puzzle of, I need to get this freaking weight off of the stick, so I'm going to... Ha! There we go. Feed it to so a bear now the branch can go up all the way. Should so also... now the branch can go up all the way and I can move forward. It should also be said, ladies and gentlemen, that because of its monochromatic um, art style, it also gets away with a lot that most games in color can't. Yeah. Oh, you will see it. There oh, yeah. will be some... Uh, I'll try to cut out deaths if I can, but there are so There are so It does a... This is a very atmospheric kind of game, and... What are these little rolling pebbles? Oh, jeez! Oh, it's Rock. Papa Rock! Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Papa wasn't oh, happy. Well, that was yeah, we, close. We, oh, I really hope nothing worse than that <laughs> happens to me. <laughs> oh, what a glorious day, <laughs> Kalu Kale. And, and my, so yeah, and in terms of controls, it is literally just directional buttons for moving, jumping, and you have a grab slash interact button. And mm -hmm. that's, and honestly, between this and the second game, that's pretty much all they did. And I do, I do kind of like how they, where, how they work with that, where... It's nothing too complex. They just do. They put, they put a lot into the presentation of it. To the game's credit, it's all, it's along with it being just an overly simplistic experience but that does. I, oh, I okay. had to adjust some brightness. It was way too dark on my end. <laughs> well, isn't that the point? In, in, uh, yeah, uh, uh, ironic. But the mist was so hard light, to see. To be fair, but um, yeah. Anyway, well, still, you're completely you're completely disregarding the deep context and commentary. They gave me a brightness slider. Just. It, it's it's betraying the very morals this game is teaching. Man, you're next like thing, next you're thing. A, next thing you know, like, hike, you're gonna you're gonna get rag on him for playing for playing it in the daytime. 
You are Yay. you are you are you remind me of game no, don't mind that oh don't mind don't mind that rope up there. There are some secrets in this game, but I don't really care. Uh don't mind oh yeah, you were reminding me of Game Freak with how they handled their volume sliders in this most recent gen. Oh really? I'll take your word on that. I was just making like a comment about how like given mm -hmm. how precious the indie scene is viewed, you I would not be surprised if there are some people that took like game options like that and critique it in such a similar fashion. Oh yeah, you're Try not gonna make that log. jump. Yeah, yeah, you should have pushed the log a little further. Yeah, yeah. Well, you also gotta be careful because uh, the, all, among, among the boy's other weaknesses, he can't swim. Yep. So Again, long as water doesn't reach, I I would say so long as water doesn't reach your chin, you should be fine. It's not the water that I need to worry about. It's the fact that we're not alone in this realm. Yeah, pretty Hence much. Hence the bear traps, which you wonder what are the bear traps for? They're here for that. That's, That's not a not bear. A bear. <laughs> uh, probably is big enough for one. So this puzzle is a little bit tricky. We need to get. We need to trick this thing into stamping the ground because every time it stamps the ground, uh, it'll shake the ground and thus uh, dislodge that bear trap from the tree. Doop. There it goes. Oh, yeah. almost. Just, just about. Still on the needs branch. a little more one nudging. More hey, just, 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 one more time. I see oh. you. Okay. Stab. Oh. <laughs> There we go. There Perfect. it is. Now, don't kill myself. Moving on this side. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me, you don't want to see the side of a poor boy in a bear trap. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> but yeah. This this game is also pretty pixel perfect. If if you're if yeah. if anything like touches your little body, oh. you're you're dead. Donk. Ah. Ow. Okay. My That's toenail. One <laughs> now, uh, be careful. This game will try and trick you up here. Ah, my toenail. Don't... I would say. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say don't move in right away because the third one moves a lot faster just to try and yeah. trip you up. And Dump. there we go. The trap is destroyed, but that spider thing is yeah. also kind of ticked. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, limbo. Let me look up some information about it. But I mean, and as you to go back yeah, to an earlier ahead. thing, I was trying to say and say like the fact that yeah, it is mostly going for a simplistic, albeit very artsy format here. It's also not that long of a game. No. No, yeah. not really. Like on, we, we like will, I think will on, this game very on the Switch eShop, I think it's priced at either ten or fifteen bucks, and I'd say that's probably the perfect price to. Why are we running? Why are we moving so slowly? We're in spider web. Oh. We're, yeah, we're, we're stuck, stuck in the spider on. web. Come on! Oh jeez, this is not a good day. Oh, I hear, I think I hear something from behind me. It's a good um, thing I can't see behind me, otherwise I bet there'd be something really mean behind me. Well, honestly, me. even if you could see behind you, you oh. still have the issue of you know not moving. But fortunately, the spider is a patient killer and would instead prefer that we be nice and tenderized before actually killing us. Nicely wrapped up. <laughs> ve very, um, was it A New Hope that did the whole thing with uh, Luke and the Yeti? I th no, you no, know, it was the that second was, uh, one. Return to, been, uh, that was uh, yeah, Empire Strikes Back, I think. Empire Strikes Back, yeah. Okay. And there's a part where Hype likes where I just go, <laughs> After a nice calm it, sudden calm pause. it down, Sir Dan. We'll get you out of there. I had fun, but yeah, like I had, almost, I had fun there with we that go. Commentary. I was about to say, hop your way it. to hop your way to to victory. I was yeah, about we say, we're like, on a pogo Logan, physics here. I was about to say, just going off that joke Logan made about like me liking that. I guess I can say right off the bat, um, my first exposure to Limbo was actually a Logan's playthrough of it back on his channel. When he has a same, channel. actually. I, oh, jeez! Now I feel all old. <laughs> oh. But yeah, no. So I did. So I did. Lim yeah, I did Limbo back then because it was a pretty short enough game, and I I enjoyed it when I first played it on Xbox. Yeah, and... I think it was. I think it was one of the few playthroughs of yours I've actually seen from beginning to end, along with Ooh. it was either Portal One or Two and the first Ratchet game. Well, 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 definitely Portal. Well, Portal One and this I can totally imagine because they're so short. Like well, I'm just I gonna say right now, we're gonna beat this game pretty fast. Of... Uh, I was about to say, I, it might have been two, though, because I do remember you, like, riffing alongside Cave Johnson. Oh, Cave Johnson's great. Mm -hmm. JJ, JJ, J, doesn't he play Claus, Santa Claus, in the yes. new Claus movie? He does. God, that's so awesome. JJ yeah, Abrams. Just, yeah. No, 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 he's talking no. about, J like, he's talking yeah. about the actor, huh? Yeah, J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons, yes. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Why is that Santa name Claus so hard for me to remember? Because there's so many other J's. There's J.K. Rowling, there's J.J. Hey, Abrams. Hey, where you so going? Hey. I, I was know, not food tenderizing <laughs> you. I didn't order this food to go. But yeah, uh, so uh, what were we talking about? Oh, sorry, the plot. The making plot was work, again making me work for my dinner. How classy of you! 
But yeah, I forget. So the plot that was spoken about in that FAQ Ow. is that we are a boy that came here because we're trying to look for a, our sister, I think? I think yeah, it's a little sister. sister. Yeah. Oh, he still has uh, a little web on him. Here, here. I, oh, I have on the week you have a plot. Oh, hello, oh, hello, is. Mr. S- oh, friend. No, Could you help no, me with that? The- that's not oh, that's that's oh. that's per- that's not person. That is fake person. Oh, I that thought is, that was dead person. Dead, well, in this case, it, it, it's interchangeable. <clears throat> in this case. Considering the shadows at work here, for all we know, it could very well be just a makeshift up. mannequin made out of flesh. Right. Okay, there you go. So I, I, so I would I say so. This game, whoa, tra- oh. Whoa, 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 yeah. So yeah, so the primary. Just looking at this. Like that, folks. Oh. Okay. So looking at this. So looking at this, the primary character is a nameless boy who awakens in the middle of a forest on the edge of hell. A.K.A. Il Nimbo. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, again, he's trying to reach his sister or track her down. Also, just looking at this wiki, it just reminds me, like, yeah, this this game is pretty much on every platform to date right now. Even the Switch? Even the Switch. Even the PS yep. Vita. On PC, well, it's on is mobile it, devices. Is it- is it on the Atari Jaguar though, sir? Hmm? Someone, someone will pat, someone will freaking patch it. Someone made an NES fan port of Indivisible that actually works in wow. simulators. I, oh, oh shit! Oh, that was oh. uh, <laughs> I'm paying. Real smarty, a boy. Well, to be fair, also, <laughs> it was it was either the floor or the wrecking ball. Also, I looked into it. I, uh, it looked kind of, it looked pretty cool. I, uh, I, I think they used Christina V clips for uh for Rob for Aj. <laughs> Oh, but for, um, for wait, the, who, for the who NES handled thing. the NES port? Uh, so no, it was just a fan. It was just a fan-made oh, okay. project, and they turned into a kind of an action platformer. It looked fun, but I, okay, I so feel like I'm I'll guessing if that. it was V as Ashna, they probably just like took ripped Shantae clips and used it as placeholder. Since I'm guessing no what one's the... been able to rip the voice clips for hey. Invisible yet. <laughs> yes, That's not nice. Spider me with that shit. Get out of there! Oh, oh dang it! I thought that would work. Yeah, except we're gonna learn very quickly. This is very much a doggy dog world around here. Woo. They yeah. all hate us. Everybody is like fighting for survival and throwing flaming rocks at us. Oh, oh. or flaming tires. Like flaming but t- either yeah, way, I was about to say because yeah, I was about to say tires because there's a hole in the middle. Great oh. flaming food, fruity pebbles, Batman. <laughs> also, <laughs> they're just trying to kill like, us. Also, just going back to the, it's like, why do you want to kill me? Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, but we need. So unfortunately, unfortunately, we only get away from them. So yeah, let me look up. Let me look up stuff about this game because like, this game clearly has like history behind it. Um, clearly, yeah. It first came to the Xbox Live Arcade back in 2010. So this That's is surprising because all... the Xbox had a <sighs> lot of indies starting out there. This game yeah. is almost so, yeah, 10 almost... years old. Yep. Uh, it is. They call Ooh. the style. Oh, yeah, oh. that's a tricky. That, that there is one of the trickiest puzzles in the game to understand right away. Is it's just the way you have right. to move. Yeah, uh, Play physics Dead is a thing this... in this. Yeah, Play Dead called. Ah, oh, he moved the rope up. Mother Play fucker. Dead called. Play Dead uh, described this kind of gameplay as trial and death. Yep, uh, makes pretty sense. much. As in, like you know, you just. The idea is that they used gruesome imagery of the boys' deaths to steer the play away from those bats. Oh, jeez, that oh, oh, the spider attack the village. Hi. Oh, I oh, think wow. you, oh, you you drowned. You you needed yeah, to you push that log. Yeah. That really neat swim <clears throat> Part of me almost some of the sequences in this game. Hear me out here. Some of the sequences in this game almost remind me of the Ooh. pacing of like Dragon's Lair or something, where like you have to do something like it's like a QT and you have to do something particularly. Uh, like, to I, I think this game's a little bit more event. slow paced than Dragon's Lair. But like some parts like that, like with this part, like they're like some parts feel. I don't know. Uh, it, yeah, you know what I mean. Scripted event and you had to like. Oh, oh thank oh, you kindly, sir. Now there's weights on it. <sighs> now there's weights hey, on it. Can use as a ramp. Let's see. Uh... The game is presented. Blah, blah, blah. Journalists praised the dark presentation, describing the work as comparable to a film Oof. noir, uh, based on its based on its aesthetics. Whoa! Whoa. Mm. Now, now let's finish. Now, now let's finish for the, the job. Gras. Uh oh. Hey, I'm just gonna hang out back down here. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no. shit! Oh, oh damn it, Danny! <laughs> rock down again. That thing broke off a leg. Yeah, a whole I think leg. It, I, I think it. Honestly, I think it did more than that. Possibly. Uh, based on its aesthetics, reviewers classified Limbo as an example of video games as an art form. Uh, let's see. Uh, they like the open-ended storytelling. Uh, people say that it was very... Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Apparently it got around $7.5 million in revenue. Became the third highest-selling game. 
It's won several awards. Yeah, basically, yeah, this was definitely, like, a pretty strong first hit for Play Dead, and I like mm-hmm. that they didn't try to rush something out immediately. They took their time, and mm-hmm. I still don't, I still like what they did with Inside. Oh, boy. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, that spider's uh, not done really? yet. Definitely that thing's right know. behind me, isn't That thing's right behind me, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's fight. Oh. Oh, it's only got the one leg left. <laughs> How much of a... You can't do spider. anything to me. Just let me... Un- oh. Hey! My arm. I can still kill you, though. Be careful. Yeah, yeah. Remember Mario Sunshine? I want to get. I want to push him. I don't think uh, you, you're going to do it that uh, way, Stretchy. Uh, like I, I said. Yeah, Remember I think you need to Sunshine? rip his last leg off. Yeah, this is so gross. And <laughs> done. Oh God. Oh, it, it and twitches. This... And the spider is technically not dead yet. We still have its little husk here, which is um, which I'm about to very ungraciously <laughs> roll along. Pretend I, pretend I don't <laughs> know where this came from. It is like, especially when you touch the head, I just I, <laughs> or like where the hole was. And I, just, what a ha- I don't what a like. Herod dead. Oh. I, oh yeah, now it's definitely dead. So yeah, that's yep. a, so long, the hairy potato. <laughs> yeah, there, there is no way it would have survived that. Of no. course not. But yeah, it's with that no said, we've just made it. Yeah. I'll just too, say get back just... to like the second yeah. Ninja Turtles film where it's like when they crush Super Shredder under the pier. It's like nobody could have survived that. Uh, I'm not definitely not me. I missed my jump and I died. Whoop! I want to jump Did. on this box so that I can break it down. Oh. oh, okay. And thus we can move forward. I know it's a scary world, pup. Uh, yes, yeah, okay. sorry. Um, I'm having to keep um, Lucy <clears throat> while we have a guest over. It's okay. Yeah. So. With already our first major obstacle completed, I would argue we're already over a third of the way through the game. It's a very like we're, this is going to be a short. pretty short com pretty short commentary. But again, for an independent studio of like this game only had one programmer, two artists, uh, two producers. Uh, two, it, it, this oh. team had oh music. Oh, oh. Dude, 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 guy's dude, got dude, a dude, worm dude, on dude. his head, and it just caused him to walk directly into water. And drown. Oh, hey, no mind. An extra oh, hey, pay, excuse me. Oh, hey, pay no, pay no mind the fact we were literally using a dead carcass as a platform there. Yeah, we're about to do a whole lot worse because mm-hmm. the issue is that that is a tripwire. Mm. If I stand on that tripwire, that thing's gonna crush me, which is why I'm about to do something very inhumane. But again, in this doggy dog world, we gotta do, we gotta make the most. Of if situation. they're not gonna play nice with me, I ain't gonna play nice with them. Yeah, yeah like remember I'm just trying to imagine yeah, make, that, like... Yeah, make reference to those little brain slugs later. Anyway, back to you, Hype. I'm just trying to think back to, like, if, like, for the sake of argument, the kid eventually finds his way back home, and he sees his, he sees his mom, it's like, Ma, I have questions. <laughs> Many Lots of questions. questions. Yeah, those... Oh, and we now know that those weird little ceiling biter thingies like to munch on the uh, brain slugs. Good to know. Yeah, we need a, again. There's a lot of environmental storytelling and thus mm-hmm. environmental puzzle solving. Yeah. So uh, while we're getting to this next little puzzle, which is a, it's a very little, it's very chase, is a kind of a chase sequence. So make sure you do not step on this button. Ooh, like that. Not like the button. Not the button. Not not the button in the center. The center button. They, they tried <clears throat> to trick you there. <laughs> don't step on that button, and don't step on the center button because now that's the real button. This game likes to throw some curveballs at you. Yeah. And they got blow darts. And oh, they're going to shoot me with poison. Do, 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 do. Run! So now we're about to really give these guys a bad day. He dies on the spike trip. This guy dies. He just gets straight up screwed up. And I'm yep. just like, oh yeah? You want to get me? Well, Yeah, I didn't think nope. so. So, who here has actually tried out this game? I have. Uh, again, your playthrough is the only exposure I've had to it. Okay, uh, James, I guess you first. What did you think of your time with this game? I mean, for what it was worth, it was, um, it did fill my little itch back in the day, and even replaying it on this, I think, actually, replaying it through the Switch might have been the first time I actually ever played it and beat it. Okay. Okay. Because other than that, Um, I mostly had experience with, um, well, again, I did play it for a brief bit back when it was on Xbox, and then my, after that, my, my, the most I coverage I had with it was through, um, SGB's run of it. Oh, I okay, okay. I forgot SGB went through the game. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, Kui, how was, what was your what were your experiences with it like? Well, I actually played mine a, my I I played my game a long time ago. Um, yeah. I I never actually finished it though because 
That was back in the day when I tried to start a Let's Play channel. And, uh, oh, remember those it, good old days. I did record one video while I was- and it, it happened to be while I was recovering from sickness. Oh. Uh, but I never up, I, I never uploaded it. You know, you know what? I never but finished like, the unless, game. I was about to say, uh -huh. unless you just decide not to back up the video, a part of me actually wouldn't mind seeing what all you recorded of it someday. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Because I'm not going to no, lie, sorry. a part of me does kind of miss your old commentary styles. <laughs> Yeah, a small part of oh, me yeah, does too, be... but meh. Yeah, it'll be interesting to get back. It'll be interesting whenever we get to Kirby again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good old times. But yeah, so that said, thank you all so much for joining us for that first part. Again, we're already making pretty decent progress in the game. The, mo the game's the game's pacing moves pretty quickly and just it jumps from puzzle type to puzzle type. So yeah, join us yeah. in the next part of Limbo. Till next time, guys. Don't get lost Sorry. in the dark.